Okay, let's say we want to connect two points of different objects together. Just to be precise, I'm gonna enable a point mode, then I pick up one of the objects, choose one point, then do the same with another object. Then I'm gonna bring in the express attack and pick a bit different camera angle just to see what's happening in perspective view. Next, I'm gonna bring this small object right into Expresso Editor window. Right click on the empty field, new node Expresso General Point. This one allows us to work with objects on the point level. As it has object input, we need to introduce object output and connect them together. Unfortunately, it also has point index input. What do we need to do with this? Let's choose the small object, then go to the structure menu. We can see the highlighted point, that's our guy. Then we need to type this number into point index field. And we are halfway done here. Let's clone the point node, then go back to object manager and bring our large object into Expresso editor window. Again, we choose object as output of this node. And this time we need to find the correct point index of the large object. Let's go to the structure tab. It says 4 is the correct value. Let's type this in, then connect our objects together. And now we face a tiny problem. Right now we have only outputs on both of our point nodes. And we can solve this puzzle by introducing a new input. It's also point position, so we can easily link them together. Seems like nothing is happening right now, but it's only until the moment when we press play. Now if I move these objects in relation to each other, you will see points are connected together. Thanks to Expresso. Well, this is it.